We all love animals. Think about all the awesome pets you've had in your life, but when it comes to some animals, there's a fine line between trying to make friends and annoying them. And as we all know, animals don't play by the same rules as us. Yep. Yeah. So things can turn pretty nasty if you get on the wrong side of them. From the woman who wanted a real-life teddy bear to the king of the jungle who turned into a tyrant, here's 20 times humans messed with the wrong animals. <laughs> Number 20. Woman attacked by polar bear after jumping into tank at Berlin Zoo. One of the polar bears attacked a 32-year-old lady who leapt into a polar bear enclosure during feeding time at Berlin Zoo. Before being rescued, she had been bitten multiple times. The woman jumped over bars at the Berlin Zoo in Germany during the polar bear's feeding time, which is pretty much the worst moment to attempt to make friends with one. The woman was bitten multiple times on her arms and legs by one of the bears, despite the attempts of six zookeepers to distract the big predators. Eventually, zookeepers were able to force the bears away and carry the woman to safety. After receiving surgery on her wounds, the 32-year-old German was able to recover in the hospital. Polar bears seldom attack humans unless they are provoked sufficiently. Hungry polar bears, on the other hand, are very unpredictable, unafraid of humans, and have been known to kill and eat humans because to their lack of past human encounter. Brown bear assaults are frequently the consequence of the animal being surprised, which is not the case with polar bears. Polar bears are stealth predators, and the victim is frequently unaware of the bear's presence until the assault begins. Brown bear attacks are more likely to involve mauling and then fleeing, but polar bear assaults are more likely to be predatory and virtually always lethal. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Lion Attacks Hunter in African Safari you ever wonder why the lion is the symbol of courage and heart? Here's why. In Africa, a group of five animal poachers went out to illegally hunt this beautiful beast with the pretty cowardly advantage of bringing a ton of guns with them so they could kill the lion from a distance without endangering themselves. Only this big male lion used his stealth and raw power to run at and attack his attackers. Feels good to see the revenge of the lion on these low-life humans. What a strong animal to be able to attack all those severely injured, making the poacher's job a little more difficult. African lions consume humans as a complement to other food, not as a last option, according to studies on man-eating lions. Three rhino poachers were attacked and devoured by lions in Sabuya Game Reserve in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa, according to a South African news website. So they'll even take one for the team attempting to protect all of these magnificent African wildlife from human depravity. Number 18. White Lion Attack in Pakistan this guy in Pakistan thought he'd play tough with a huge white lion, but you can see right from the beginning he doesn't really have any confidence or authority over the situation. And then the lion starts playing a little rough, he has to hide behind his buddy out of fear. That isn't an attack, it's just how lions interact with one another. A lion can take a lot more than a person, which is why they play with people so brutally. You may still prevent this type of behavior if you keep many lions in a group and train them not to play with you so roughly by gently pressing or tapping on her cheek or on the bridge of her nose and making a vocal sound to indicate that what they're doing is incorrect. <laughs> It's also critical to keep them in a decent and fair enclosure, otherwise the animal would be stressed 24 hours a day, leading to genuine lethal assaults. 
the white lion is an uncommon color mutation of the lion, notably the southern African lion. Although the first reported sighting in the Timbavadi region was in 1938, white lions are supposed to have been indigenous to the Timbavadi region of South Africa for ages. White lions were initially introduced to the English-speaking world in 1977 through the book The White Lions of Timbavadi. Number 17. Giraffe Attacks Jeep on Safari The giraffe noticed the 4x4 from a long way away and began charging towards it. The animal lunged at the driver, smashing the wing mirror in the process. Fortunately, no one was hurt, and while the visitors were scared, they were able to joke about it. Giraffes are generally calm animals, and this unusual behavior was thought to be caused by a hormone imbalance. Although the mature male giraffe is the world's largest mammal, standing 9 feet tall and weighing up to 3,500 pounds, you might be startled to find that they fight violently and kind of amusingly. Despite the lack of a fossil record, the giraffe is supposed to to have evolved its amazing physique and outlived its predecessors by reaching for the trees. Males will engage in necking, wrestling contests, throughout their lives in which they will stand next to one another, aggressively whipping their necks and pounding each other with their heavy heads. The ossicones or horns, on the other hand, are blunt, and these fights are more like strength and fitness tests, with the weaker opponent yielding and rarely causing injury. A lion's struggle with a giraffe is terrible news for the lion. A lion can never easily overcome a giraffe due to its tremendous size and height. A lion can't get close enough to a giraffe's throat to bite it, which is how it usually attacks huge animals. Adult giraffes are hunted by lions that try to knock them from their feet and pull them down. However, a single kick can be fatal. Number 16. Cute Llama Alpaca Can Attack Human the alpaca is a camelid mammal native to South America. It looks a lot like a llama and is frequently confused with one. Alpacas, on the other hand, are often noticeably smaller than llamas. Both species are closely related and may crossbreed effectively. Both the vicuña and the guanaco were thought to be the wild ancestors of llamas and alpacas. The Surrey alpaca and the wakaya alpaca are the two different kinds of alpaca. Male alpacas are more aggressive than females, preferring to take control of the herd. Alpha males will occasionally immobilize the head and neck of a lower or challenged male in order to display their dominance and authority. Alpacas are quite easy to train and respond well to a variety of rewards, the most common of which being food. They can be touched without getting annoyed, but only when the animal's head or neck is not rubbed. Alpacas are generally easy to herd, even in large groups groups, although it is recommended that the handler approach the animals gently and quietly when hurting them. Failure to do so may endanger both the animals and the person. Although alpacas do not all spit, they are all capable of doing so. Although alpacas frequently bring up acid stomach contents, typically a green grassy mix, and project it into their chosen targets, the name spit is a bit of a misnomer. The projectile might sometimes consist just of air and a little saliva. Spitting is normally reserved for other alpacas, however on rare occasion, an alpaca will spit at a person. Number 15. Elephants Show Tourists Why You Shouldn't Get Out of Your Car this is the dramatic moment when visitors going to enter the world-famous Kruger National Park were forced to outrun a troop of elephants as they made their way to the river. Elephants get irritated when tourists approach their domain when a troop of elephants surged toward two visitors coming back to their automobiles after seeing the Kruger Monument outside the entrance to South Africa's famed Kruger National Park they were forced to flee for their lives. Andre Schwab, 27, was standing on the bridge looking for animals when a herd of elephants appeared from the woods and began crossing the road. He recorded the interaction on video. The matriarch was extremely aware of the people out of their car, and she seemed quite unhappy with 
two tourists walking right along their path, Schwab said. She and the rest of her herd started charging towards the two women that were looking at the monument commemorating Paul Kruger. It was the woman's lucky day and they made it to safety by the skin of their teeth. Schwab continued, finishing by saying, be aware of your surroundings and the behavior of the animals. This is a national park with wild animals. Guests must remain in their cars except in specially authorized locations, according to South African National Parks regulations. However, according to one safari company's website, the Paul Kruger Memorial stands right outside the entrance gates, allowing passengers to leave their cars and go up to it for a closer look. Number 14. Komodo Dragon Chasing Ayako Emoto on Crazy Japanese Game Show in Japanese game shows, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's like really bizarre things. Here, for example, a woman is shown anxiously waiting at the end of a rope, connected to a hunk of meat, which the Komodo gradually approaches with a menacing swagger. The competitor begins running as soon as the lizard reaches the meal, fleeing as it scurries behind her. Large portions of meat are devoured by Komodo dragons by tearing them apart and swallowing them whole while holding the victim down with their talons. They can eat whole animals up to the size of a goat thanks to their flexibly articulated jaws, elastic skulls, and capacious stomachs. Swallowing takes a long time, but they may speed things up by smashing the body against a tree to drive it down its throat, sometimes violently enough to bring the tree down. As the enormous Komodo approaches the meat, the mad woman flees, racing as fast as she can to the finish line. The Komodo dragon may grow to be 9 feet long and 220 pounds in weight at the first line. A few professionals are stationed to aid in controlling the enormous Komodo. According to statistics, Ayako Emoto has outrun a variety of monsters in numerous TV shows, including alligators, predators, and cheetahs. Can the TV program, however, avoid the impending lawsuits? Number 13. Man Kicks Bear Quickly Regrets His Decision in this video, a Russian guy receives an instant dose of karma after harassing a young bear in the forest and really testing his luck to the limit, as seen in the video. It was documented in a brief clip that went viral on the internet recently. The incident is said to have taken place near Kamchatka in eastern Russia and was captured on camera. As the bear looks to be waking up from its slumber, the guy approaches it and instead of allowing the animal to go away, he chooses to pull one of the most ridiculous acts he will ever witness. After pressing the record button on his camera, the man walks after the bear and kicks or shoves the animal from behind, depending on the situation. This is the moment at which even the bear appears to be slightly perplexed, as if to ask, did you really just kick me? Within seconds, the bear breaks out an uncontrollable roar that will make your skin crawl and he soon delivers his assailant a lesson. According to reports, the man was slightly injured on his hand and was able to walk away, which seems a bit too cheap for such a dumb move. He'd better count his blessings today. Number 12. Leopard Attack Safari Guide in this clip, a leopard attacked a British safari guide in South Africa, causing him to be sent to the hospital. He was traveling in an open-top vehicle when the leopard attacked him. The huge cat attacked and clawed Curtis Plum, 38, on the arm when he stopped his truck, which was packed with people, to observe the big cat in Kruger National Park. The ranger leaned over the side of the truck to see where the animal was, explained Grant Ford, a visitor who was traveling with his 13-year-old son. It was just next to him. It sprang inside the safari truck and grabbed the arm of a ranger without any warning or provocation, and the ranger was injured. What happened after that was wild. The safari truck's passengers were yelling and screaming. People sat behind the ranger attempted to assist by pounding the animal with their cameras, but the attempt was unsuccessful. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. 
The passengers of another vehicle slammed the leopard with a car door, but it did not relinquish its grasp on the guide. Plum was able to free himself by reversing the vehicle, but the cat returned to attack him again. The leopard raced after the car and pursued it until it was brought down. It attempted to jump onto the vehicle's bonnet in an apparent attempt to reach the passengers, but it was unsuccessful. The ranger then applied the brakes, causing the animal to fall to the ground and fling itself at the truck once more. It was up to the ranger's discretion whether or not to eliminate it. He ran over the animal's rear legs with with his vehicle. It was plainly damaged as it got to its feet. The minivan then pounced on the leopard and ran him over with its wheels. In truth, the humans here acted with entitlement, driving around a wild animal's home with the windows down and then killing the animal when it got annoyed with them. When will we learn to just leave them in peace? Number 11. Cow Drop Kicks a Man for Hitting Another Cow You've probably heard the expression, karma is a beach. However, in this example, karma was in fact not a female dog, but a cow. A video showing a guy beating cows with a stick, presumably on a farm, has gone viral. No one is surprised that animals are subjected to torture by humans in order to keep them docile. This one individual, on the other hand, received a taste of his own medicine. The video's date and location are unknown, it might be ancient, but Indian Forestry Service worker Susantananda recently uploaded it with the statement, what goes around comes around. A number of cows can be seen in the film, some in stables and others outdoors. They appear to be being led into the cages by a guy. With the stick he was holding, he began beating one cow savagely. But within seconds, he received a taste of the thrashing. Number 10. Angry Ram Attacks Motorcyclist in the Forest a viral video of a horned New Zealander ram clashing with a biker named Marty Todd went viral a long back. The film went viral and was broadcast on CNN, CBS, and a slew of other sources. However, all of the material was somewhat one-sided, only showing the action from the perspective of the motorcycle. Todd returned to the same location, spotted the same ram, and used a Velcro strap to place a GoPro camera on the animal's back. I'm not sure if this is heroic or foolish. The activity is shown from the ram's perspective in the video. A trail biker rider in New Zealand filmed the moment he was assaulted by an enraged ram, which came at him and knocked him off his bike. I was riding my trail bike up a hill when I came across this grumpy old ram with huge horns. It charged my bike, then started attacking me. Surprisingly powerful animal, Todd said. Well, I guess you got what you were looking for. Number 9. Angry Bull Hit Car Lift Up in Public Space After rampaging at a car for about 15 minutes, an enraged bull was captured on video. Watch the horrifying footage right here. The agitated animal was spotted at the railway station in Hajipur in the Vaishali district in Bihar in northeast India, close to the border with Nepal. The bull is seen using its horns to raise a little white hatchback in the middle of the road before the car collapses to the ground, according to the video. The animal raises the vehicle up from various sides, turning the vehicle 180 degrees in the process. <laughs> Locals said the bull attacked the automobile for 15 minutes before being chased away by onlookers and police. The footage shows a guy approaching the bull and dumping a glass of water on it, which causes the bull to get alarmed and run away. One of the men use a long wooden stick to hold the animal at bay while the others attempt to shoo the bull away from the automobile. They also hurled bricks at the animal after it had moved away from the automobile, but had remained standing in the middle of the road, according to the report. Because the automobile was empty, no one was hurt in the attack attack, which was fortunate. Number 8. Deer Attack in Nara, Japan 
During a visit to the Nara Deer Park in Japan, this little girl was approached by a deer and attacked. Despite the fact that deer are not meant to be predators, this one has locked onto this innocent youngster with a lion intensity and has chosen to spoil her day. It is not rare for people to be assaulted by deer, and this is not a new phenomenon. Deer attacks are not something you hear about very often, but they do happen when people are out in the woods or on a hiking trail. During certain times of the year, deer will become more aggressive than they normally are. Rutting bucks are aggressive and highly excited, and they will attack people if provoked. Under normal conditions, bucks are aware of their fear of humans and will make every effort to maintain a safe distance from them in order to defend themselves. <laughs> a rutting buck will sometimes choose to attack people rather than other animals, as it appears as though the animal has gone insane. There have even been reports of rutting bucks tracking down and pursuing individuals. Several accounts have been recounted of deer swimming across lakes and charging at humans with great ferocity. It might seem strange that deer would be so violent, but it's all due to the fact that they're rutting at the moment. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the word rutting, it refers to a period of time during which bucks are actively seeking female partners. When bucks are rutting, the only thing on their minds is finding females with whom they can mate with. As a result, many different sorts of animals will behave in various ways throughout mating season, which implies that this makes more sense than you would have initially imagined. Number 7. Guy with Food Gets Chased by Seagulls Seagulls have a bad reputation for stealing food. You're eating your beautiful dinner al fresco, when all of a sudden a white seagull appears out of nowhere, grabs your food, and flies away. There are lots of funny videos on the internet. Have you ever considered what would happen if a whole flock of seagulls were circling your dinner? This is demonstrated in a video that has gone viral and has made Twitter giggle. The video in question was uploaded on Twitter by Darwin Award with the message, Don't eat your lunch while there are seagulls about. The amusing video shows people strolling about casually as a swarm of seagulls appears out of nowhere. After a few seconds, you can see a guy fleeing with food and a drink in his hand, chasing after him by a flock of birds. If you look closely, you'll notice that there are other individuals on the road who are attempting to defend themselves. When the man eventually enters a store, the birds finally leave him alone. Number 6. Attack of the 80-Pound Beaver No, it's not an adult movie. Don't be so immature. Suburban wildlife control is dispatched to assist with yet another damn serious issue in which an 80-pound beaver has made its home on a golf course property and is wreaking havoc. After successfully live-trapping the beaver, Brad now has the difficult task of removing the enormous and elusive beast from the murky water without becoming completely saturated and caked in muck. Oh, he just peed all over me. When Katie and Brad try to release the enraged beaver into a new and ideal environment, it turns on them and attacks. Beavers and people can clash over land usage, with individual beavers being branded nuisance beavers. By cutting, burrowing, or flooding, beavers can cause harm to crops, woodstocks, roads, ditches, gardens, and pastures. They attack humans and household pets on occasion, especially when afflicted with rabies, defending their territory, or feeling threatened. At least one human life has been lost as a result of these attacks. Number 5. A Goose Insists on Attacking an Old Man in a video shared to Weibo, China's equivalent to Twitter, an old man defended himself against an aggressive goose, causing spectators to chuckle. The film was shot in an undisclosed location in China, and the individual who appeared in it has not been identified. <laughs> It's possible that the goose in question is a white Chinese goose. Geese seldom assault humans, yet they may be aggressive. Geese have even been used as security animals. 
Some of the man's defense measures are identical to those employed by geese handlers or professionals. People recalling attacks by geese when they were children were among the most popular comments on Weibo. The goose stands on a brick driveway with an old guy facing away from it in the video. The goose then lowers its head and charges forward at the guy. The goose hesitates for a brief minute as the guy hisses and stomps his foot. The guy then twists the goose around with his left hand slipping beneath its chin. <laughs> the man tosses the bird into the bushes. When the two approach close to it, the geese rapidly creeps out of the bushes, wings fully extended. While the man backpedals and stomps his feet, the goose lowers its head and begins another charge. He grips the goose beneath the chin once more this time. Then he spins in a full circle, swinging the goose around him, all while smiling like a real Chinese martial arts movie. Number 4. Stallion Attacks His Trainer while bringing him in for feed time, this thoroughbred racehorse looks to be racing fit and appears to be guarding the mare. He's storming to protect his breeding territory and these horse caretakers appear to be a touch out of their element with this tenacious stallion. Horses are mammals, which means they are warm-blooded or endothermic rather than cold-blooded or poikleothermic. However, in equestrian language, these phrases have taken on a new connotation, describing temperament rather than body temperature. Hot-blooded horses, such as many racehorses, are more sensitive and energetic, whereas cold-blooded horses, such as most draft breeds, are quieter and calmer. Hot bloods are sometimes referred to as light horses or riding horses. Whereas cold bloods are referred to as draft horses or work horses. Oriental horses, including the Akal Teke, Arabian horse, Barb, and now extinct Turkoman horse, as well as the thoroughbred, a breed developed in England from ancient Oriental times, are hot blooded breeds. Hot bloods are passionate, bold, and rapid learners. They're bred for speed and agility. They are physically refined, with thin skin, slender bodies, and long legs. When European breeders wanted to incorporate these features into racing and light cavalry horses, they transported the original Oriental breeds to Europe from the Middle East and North Africa. Number 3. Kicked by an Ostrich Few people realize that birds are derived from dinosaurs, and that means members of the Velociraptor and T-Rex families, not just dinosaurs. Hollow bones were found in these dinosaurs, which proved to be great for adapting to flight when the ground became increasingly difficult to survive on millions of years ago. You might not see the resemblance when you meet a pigeon on the street, but one look at an angry ostrich will convince you of their dangerous origins. In this video, we see an ostrich ninja guy mimicking an ostrich to fool the massive bird, then subduing it by placing a jacket over its head so that another guy can rush in and collect his child's boomerang. This is military-style ostrich taming, and it works well. These are the world's biggest birds, yet they are unable to fly. Can you imagine a swarm of ostriches swooping down from the sky? Kind of terrifying. However, this does not mean that they are slackers. These birds have tremendous speed, reaching speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. If confronted, it can kill lions and other large predators with its devastating kicks. Kicks and slashes are rare, with most assaults happening to individuals who provoke the birds, like this person, for example. Number 2. Alligator Chases Swimmer Bites His Arm in Horrifying Footage a guy was bitten by an alligator while swimming in a lake in Brazil, and he is recovering from his injuries. The event occurred one afternoon near the Lago de Amor in Campo Grande, which is a renowned tourist destination. It was captured on camera by William Satano, who described it as terrifying. Before going for a dip in the lake, the guy had disregarded a series of warning signals that the lake was filled with alligators and instead chose to ignore them. Once he had walked approximately 30 yards out into the lake, an alligator began to approach him from behind. Alligators are typically fearful of humans and will flee by walking or 
swimming away if one comes close to them. As a result, people may feel more comfortable approaching alligators and their nests, which may incite the animal into attacking. It is against the law in Florida to feed wild alligators at any time of day or night. If alligators are fed, they will ultimately outgrow their fear of humans and will come to link humans with the provision of food. Number 1. Two monkeys were paid unequally. An unknown visitor creeps up behind a wild macaque and throws him into a pond in this video taken at Shishin Temple in Dawa County, Taiwan. The macaque, on the other hand, is not going to stand by and allow such annoying conduct to continue unabated in its territory. The macaque leaps out of the pond and begins following after the man, who loses his shoe in the process of running from the monkey. The man attempts to flee into a nearby building, but the macaque Cock has already radioed for assistance from his squad of monkeys, and there is now a group of them waiting to punish him. Because they attack as a group, the man sustains scratches and bites as a punishment. Other visitors appear to be amused by the scene, but you can be sure that the individual who hit the monkey was not amused once they had exacted their revenge. He hopefully learned his lesson and will not be messing with these creatures in the future. Do you think humans deserve to be attacked if they mess with animals? Would you like to see more punishment for poachers and people who are cruel to animals? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!